what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Amid ongoing controversy, on Monday, August 2nd, the baby released an apology to the LGBTQ community. Again, this after his comments at the Rolling Loud Festival was deemed homophobic. The statement read, social media moves so fast that people want to demolish you before you even have the opportunity to grow, educate, and learn from your mistakes. As a man who has had to make his own way from very difficult circumstances, having people I know publicly working against me, knowing that what I needed was education on these topics and guidance has been challenging. He also thanked the many people who came to him with kindness, who reached out to him in privacy to offer wisdom, education, and resources. He said, that's what I needed. And that's what was received. Now this comes after the baby was dropped by huge festivals that included the Governor's Ball in New York City, Day in Vegas in Las Vegas, and Park Light Festival in Manchester, England. He was also bumped from Lollapalooza at the last minute last week amid the ongoing controversy. What do y'all think, fam? What do you think, baby? Hmm? Okay, so here's one of the things that he said. He was saying, telling people, where, you know, like, you know how you do the chant thing in, in hip hop at the concert. So he's like, well, you know, if you ain't got AIDS, you know, uh, be quiet or something like that. Uh, something along those lines. And then he, you know, went on saying some other stuff. Uh, but when I listened to it, it wasn't that he was, I don't think he was doing anything malicious. I think he was trying to get, you know, a, basically a call to action, just getting people to, you know, to, to chant and all that kind of stuff. You know, that's what people do. You know, like people say all kinds of stuff. Rappers say all kinds of stuff when they're on stage to get people to make noise. Man, if, if you ain't broke, make some noise. You know, if you pay your own rent, if your uh, 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 don't stink, make some noise, you know. All the women with their own hair, make some noise. All the women that got a wig, make some noise, whatever. Man, people say all kinds of stuff. And it's not really anything personal, right? And I think that's where the disconnect is. It's just like with comedy. Comedians, number one job is to make people laugh. A rapper's number one job is to make people scream, to make them, to make them recite what they're saying, right? That's a big thing with hip hop. Recite what I'm saying. Either you're gonna recite these lyrics, or I'm gonna tell you something, and then you're gonna respond, call and response, right? That's what rappers do. We did it. That damn there ain't a rapper alive that hasn't done it before the baby. The difference is we're in this cancel culture right now. And the baby is one of the stars, you know, in the game. He's one of the young stars out there. So, of course, people who would typically overlook what he has to say, they are going to come for him. Radio stations corporations, festivals, all of these people played a role in conditioning the baby and every other rapper in thinking it was cool to say all of this stuff because rappers been saying this stuff for years, for years and years and years, and nothing has ever been done about it. One thing I know about corporations, though, when the heat get on, boy, they're going to throw you under the bus. They don't give a damn. Because they know exactly what's going on. They know what your show is like. Hell, they, the execs and 
and people in management, they be at the shows because they're fans too. That's why a lot of them want to do business with you. So they know what's going on. But if you don't say anything, they're not going to say anything. It looks like to me that Baby didn't get the memo that cancel culture was in the house. And this type of language ain't going to be allowed anymore. So if that's the case, shouldn't he receive grace if he didn't really know, right? Should he receive grace? On a personal note, fam, I think he should have just kept his mouth shut and waited 30 days till nobody cared. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?